When I was in the coal industry, it was feast or famine. So everything's going great and it's just hey, it's shut down. Yeah, some eggs, man. Yeah, I went from working in a coal mine, blowing up the mountains, and now I'm planting stuff on top of it, you know, reclaiming it back. My name is Chris Farley, and I'm a farmer for Refresh Appalachia. Oh. It's okay, buddy. Refresh Appalachia has come to these abandoned surface mines, and we're turning them into active agriculture farms. This one will probably get to be about five feet tall. Everything you see here was once an active coal mine. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, hey, hey. I, the way I like to do it is just kind of step on it and wiggle it. Almost everybody that works for Refresh Appalachia was a laid off coal miner. We have chickens that fertilize the soil. We have goats that eat the tops off the bushes. And we have the hogs that come in and they're like a plow. They tear up all the rocks and the soil and get it ready for planting. <coughs> this soil is so tough, we have to use pickaxes, slate bars, just try to break it up. It's tough. Perfect. I started in the coal mines right out of high school. I just followed my father's footsteps. I used to work on the surface mines for over 11 years, similar to what you see back here. The first six years was good, and after that, it was every six months to a year I'd get laid off. Times were real tough. Garden looks good. How much rain have you had down here? My grandmother and grandfather had a farm their whole life. They went through the Great Depression. You picture my grandpa. They didn't struggle at all because they had their own farm. Hey, Granny, how was the sweet potatoes this year? Last year, they were really good. My grandma, she's old, but she's taught me a lot about gardening, and that's something I've grown up loving. Yeah, I started out farming, went to the coal mines, now I'm back to farming, back to my roots. We'll have this bunch come in first, and then this bunch will come in. If I had an offer to go back into the coal mines right now, I definitely wouldn't take it. I'm hoping that we can have the strip jobs working, and we can come behind them planting like we're doing right now. There's opportunity there we can work together and make it happen.